This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. David Beebe used to gig a Boss Katana and he talked on the Guitar Hour podcast about it in, in terms of it being a really good experience and at the time I kind of thought Beebs you're barking up the wrong bush and I thought it was maybe I don't know hadn't tried too many things um, but I tried it earlier in the week or last week at a gig had a really great experience and Beebs said to me you know if Boss had their marketing sh together It'd be the best-selling amp by a long way. I think it might actually be the best-selling amp anyway, so... <laughs> Truefire help to make this channel a reality. Well, I was doing it before Truefire, wasn't I? But anyway, they help pay for nappies. Um, and one of the things that I like to do is highlight things on there that I think are pretty cool. Three things actually today. There's an Adam Levy course on there, which is actually really relaxing to play along to. It's kind of talking about playing with traditional jazz changes. Um, actually really cool when you can sort of do this trading thing with him and um, yeah, it's got this really cool relaxed style, so I kind of really enjoyed that. Ariel Posen's got a triad targeting video, which might be useful for some of you guys who are interested in that sort of trying to hit more chord tones when you're playing through or over changes. And then there's another thing coming up, which you can pre-order, but can't actually, I can't see it yet. The Eric Johnson there's an in the jam with him and also a masterclass. I'm really looking forward to checking that out and seeing what he has to say. Um, 
that's all filmed in a pretty posh looking studio and he goes through his gear and stuff by the look of things but i'm really looking forward to that you can pre-order that i think and get it now or it'll be released on october the first for us normal people oh yeah you can use the code jnc40 to get 40 percent off any course or use the code jnc100 to get a hundred dollars off of their all access pass which basically over the year you can dip into all of their courses any and all of them sort of like netflix or something like that i guess right so i had an experience this weekend which i wanted to talk about um as you'll be aware i play well you might not you're probably not if you're new to the channel um hi all right uh, i play guitar and i do lots of videos some of them about amps and sort of modeling gear and the context that i try to keep in mind for some of this stuff is that i play in a dodgy wedding band on the weekends and maybe like some of you guys you know pubs wedding bands functions that sort of thing where you're playing a whole mixture of tunes um from funk to rock disco you know the normal sort of stuff and I try to kind of have that be sort of like the anchor or at least some part of context to what I do. Now, Boss sent me a katana because I asked them, I'm thinking about doing a video on the kind of best practice amp, whatever price range, and a thing that could do lots of things. As a disclaimer, I am a part owner of Boss. Uh, no, but they did send this uh, and it's like a £300 amp. I've done lots of videos on Catan stuff as well anyway, but you should know that that's what's happened behind the scenes of this video. I asked them to borrow a Boss Katana. Uh, at some point I'll probably be doing it, but they're not paying me for this video. And we all know that the main piece of gear that you and I have been looking for for all these years is a Boss Katana. Right, so why do I feel stupid? Because I turned up with this, so I ran it in 50 watt mode, basically like this. Bass, mid, treble, like that, on the clean channel, uh, a smidge of reverb into a Matrix Neolite cab. And I was as happy with that as I've been with any other rig that I've played over the last 12 months or so. And I've been chopping and changing things around a bit. And not necessarily what I was expecting. And I don't know, probably there's going to be a bunch of you watching this who are gigging the katana. To be honest, it's definitely enough so i was in 50 watt mode keeping up with the drummer um i got the master run fairly high and then i got it set more or less to emulate or what ended up sounding pretty close in the studio to the fender vibroverb of jake's yeah it takes pedals incredibly well so did the rig that i was using there the katana and i have a boss angry driver doing kind of the dirt that goes into a Keeley Tone workstation, which has a compressor on it. And then I've got a blues breaker, which I might kick on for the solo or just swell up the volume for that. And then there's a tiny bit of delay on an HX stomp. And then that goes to front of house. But yeah, I don't know. I've heard feedback from other people. So Phil, for instance, tried gigging her katana. Um, I think his was in combo form. I think that might be a big part of what could make or break this as a concept he wasn't impressed now of course the other thing with this sort of stuff is that the venue and all that sort of stuff can totally make a big impact on whether or not this ends up working for you but in general i was thinking well that's making me feel a bit silly because surely i shouldn't enjoy gigging a katana as much as you know a tube amp a mesa boogie so the week before this or a couple of weeks before that i had a yogurt disaster it's gone well that bloody lovely yogurt uh but i also gigged the mesa boogie subway blues in the same situation and i had nowhere near as much fun frankly i found like the, the subway blues was a weird kind of mid type frequencies couldn't really get it to sound how i wanted the katana instantly sounded you know i think better clearer just worked you know all i was doing part way through the gig i swapped guitars uh, i'm gonna do a video on that as well but in general super impressive I, I would say if you're looking for a pedal platform i'm not going to recommend to you the katana but a backup pedal platform type amplifier the katana can 
easily do that. There's plenty of clean headroom. Um, it's taking pedals well in that context. Uh, I would say keep it simple. Uh, you could, of course, run everything on a Katana instead of using the pedal platform thing um, and go into sort of like a channel switching type vibe where you use the crunch and lead channels as well. And for me, that might be an area where actually you, you have a little bit uh, more tweaking and stuff to do. Whereas I think if you just plug in your, your pedal board, you probably, I, well, I was pleasantly surprised by how good that worked. In the studio as well, it held up very nicely with the 64 Vibroverb. It's not a studio, it's a bedroom, but you get the point. The other cool thing about this is that a couple of days before, I just took this downstairs and it works really nicely as a practice amplifier. Now, when I was on the phone to Boss asking, you know, when saying, I'm actually been asked by some subscribers and they've suggested this as one of the better practice amps out there. They were kind of not bigging up the internal speaker massively, but because I wasn't necessarily expecting too much from it, from what they had said, very pleasantly surprised by just how useful this internal speaker could be. What it really means is that this is more than just a practice amp, more than just a gigging amp. The thing that annoys me in some ways about a lot of other practice type gear is that really it doesn't have too much use outside of the home. Whereas this has a power amp in, uh, so you could use this to power your modelers. This has, you know, could be used on a gig as a pedal platform. This could be a perfectly serviceable backup. They're inexpensive. This is cost about, or would cost if I had paid for it, which I didn't, as I've said, um, would cost about the same as servicing a couple of tube amps. Um, I don't know. So here I'm just plugged into nothing else here. And yeah, you can totally practice with it. Um, and you know, it can be pretty loud. get that kind of loud it starts to fart out the speaker um, or you know distorted tones as well this is what I was just jamming along with Alexa downstairs And what I'm not thinking whenever I've been playing this is, right, I need to go and tweak that or I need to go and change this. It's been an experience quite similar to the Boss Waza Airs where you set up your sound. I think that was using the sneaky amps that I initially set that up, like the Eric Johnson type thing. If you want to try those, they're in the Gumroad folder. Um, but pff, I don't know, to me, I'm getting quite a lot out of that sort of thing for the amount of money that you spend on it. So as I say, like a very serviceable practice amp to me sounds just as good as any other practice amp solution that I've tried, you know, in terms of like the desktop stuff and all that, it sounds quite full and it's got enough volume that you can do it. Then a hundred watt pedal platform are up to a hundred watt. You can also switch it down to 50, which is what I was using it at. And that's, Again, very capable of gigging. What else have we got? It's got an audio interface aspect to it as well, right? You could go direct. Um, you've got your power amp in, so you could use it to power other pedal boards and stuff like that. For the amount of money that you spend on a Katana, they packed in a lot of things. And honestly, when I was playing it live, it like gave me that experience 
of using an amp live, right? I wasn't thinking, right, well, that sounds awful, or that sounds digital. Feels really good to play. Sounds really good to play. I had people coming up and saying that sounds good, or one person. Maybe she was trying to, I don't know. Anyway, so that was, um, that's the experience. It's got an effect loop as well. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts if you've gigged a katana and had the opposite experience, negative experiences. I think a big part of this might be pairing it with a cab that you dig and you like and I'd be pairing it either with the Matrix Neo Lite or with uh, a Mesa Boogie with an EV speaker in it so really nice speakers um, I don't think necessarily that the Combo Katana speaker would hold up quite as well as either of those cabs so I think that's definitely part of it um, but an inexpensive solution to many problems I guess not sexy um, and as I say, I feel a little bit silly when I've got, you know, some other things that I could use. You know, I could be using a mattress lightning clone and I've been enjoying that as well. But I honestly didn't feel like the Katana whilst I was playing was in any way inferior. Um, and if anything, I can get cleaner, more headroom out of this than my single channel valve amplifier. And definitely preferred it to the Mesa Boogie Subway Blues, which I gigged about a fortnight ago. So... Yeah, I don't know. I feel silly, but that's that. Yeah, let me know if you've had negative experiences. If you've had reliability issues as well, I'd love to hear those in the comments. Or if it's been working perfectly well for you, let me know as well.